Hello. Welcome to this brief overview on how to use 18 by 18 az's Event Console. In order to access the Event Console, the first thing you will want to do is to go to the following URL in your web browser. We recommend using Google Chrome to ensure that the Event Console and our video conferencing platform work as intended. When you go to this web page, you'll notice that you need to enter in an access code in order to access the Event Console. This will be unique for every team and will be emailed to you prior to the start of the event. You can go ahead and type or just copy and paste that in, click login, and you now have access to the event console. If you have more than one team in your organization, simply open a new tab and enter in their unique access code. You will notice that each team has their own unique dashboard. You can also choose to sign in from multiple devices if you so desire. You will notice there are three main tabs, Inspection, Skills, and Skills Scores. When your team is ready to get their robot inspected, simply click on the Inspection tab, click on Enter Queue for Inspection, and you can see your current status in the queue. If you need to leave the queue for whatever reason, simply click Leave Queue. Please only enter the queue when your team is ready to get inspected. This means you have your robot, sizing tool, or tape measure, and your adult contact present for the video call at all times. When a head referee is ready to inspect your team, they will invite you to the video call. You will see this pop up. Click on this link to access the video conferencing room, and then enter in this randomly generated password. After you're done with inspection, the head referee will pass or give you a partial. If you've passed, you'll notice the status on your event console change, and you're ready to start running your skills matches. So let's go ahead and navigate to the skills tab. You will notice there are two main buttons here, enter queue for driving skills and enter queue for programming skills. And then the box below it keeps track of how many times you've done a driving skills match and how many times you've done a programming skills match. Whenever you're ready to do either driving skills or programming skills, just click on whichever button you'd like to do. Let's just go ahead and queue for a programming skills match. Again, please only enter the queue when you are ready to actually complete your skills match. This means that your field is reset, the robot is on the field and ready to play, you have your controller tethered to the robot, your countdown timer is reset and clearly in view of the camera, and your adult contact is present and clearly in view of the camera. When a head referee is ready to uh, run a match with you, they will go ahead and invite you. Again, you will see a link to the video conference room with the randomly generated password. And one nice thing about the event console is that after you have completed your run, the head referee can actually display what the current score is and how they've scored it. So let me just go ahead and enter in a score on the head referee side. So I'll go ahead and display that to the team. And as you can see, after they completed the match, uh, the head referee currently has eight red balls scored, 10 blue balls scored, the following configuration of the goals with a skill stop time of 10 seconds. And the team notices, actually, wait a second, uh, goal C is currently owned by the Red Alliance. Head referee can quickly change that, update that, and you can see the new updated score. So when the head referee saves this score, you will notice that the little box down here updates to show that you have completed one of your programming skills attempts. And if you want to check your score, you can go ahead and go to the skills scores. And you'll notice that your score is currently here. And you can click view score sheet to view all the uh, various inputs, but you can also view all the other team's scores. So if you're curious how they got their particular score, you can go ahead and uh, view all of that. Lastly, if you need to talk to event staff for whatever reason, uh, on the left side of the event console, you have this chat box. So you can go ahead and type whatever message you have, whether it be tech support or whatever. You can go ahead and send that. Notice your chat is currently right here. And let me just go and type something as a head referee. And you will notice that the head referee has a different color and event staff will be purple and then announcements will be in 
yellow. So this is just a way to contact event staff if you need help for whatever reason. And that's a quick overview of the event console. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out before the start of the event or during the team meeting before things get a little too chaotic. And uh, that's it. Hopefully this was helpful.